Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. So my new Dell XPS 15 has a GTX 1050 graphics card in it, and although most of the higher end gaming laptops have a GTX 1060 in it, I wanted to benchmark a ton of games to see if the GTX 1050 was enough. So today, I'm gonna benchmark a ton of games. Let's get into it. I don't wanna waste a lot of time going over our testing platform, the Dell XPS 15, as I've already fully reviewed it in the video in the upper right hand corner. Now not every laptop in it is gonna have an i7 7700HQ like the Dell XPS 15 does, this is pretty much the best CPU that you can get in a laptop right now, so just know that we are looking at the best case scenario. Other than the 7700HQ, the XPS 15 is also rocking 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM, and the games are installed on a 512 gigabyte PCIe SSD, but that won't affect performance. Now before getting into the benchmarks, I have two things for you guys. First, the settings on the right hand side of the screen that you're about to see are the settings that I personally would recommend gaming at, and those are usually around the 1080p to 60fps mark, and second, the footage that you're about to see is definitely going to be a little bit slower than the actual results that you'll see, because recording footage on a laptop especially, it can lower the FPS a bit, so just be aware that the settings on the right hand side of the screen are the exact results that you should see. So with the benchmarks out of the way, we can definitely see that the GTX 1050 can certainly hold its own in 1080p gaming. If you're looking to spend a little bit less money on your laptop and it has a GTX 1050 in it, you'll definitely be able to play any game you throw at it. Like I said though, most gaming laptops these days are rocking a GTX 1060, but if you're buying a more productivity based laptop like I did with the XPS 15, just know that there is a 1050 installed so you'll still be good to go. Don't let the elitists tell you otherwise. Well that wraps up my benchmarking for the GTX 1050 in a laptop. Definitely be sure to let me know in the comment section what graphics card is in your laptop or what laptop you're planning on buying. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.